It was J.D. Vance who had a pastor come to the podium and, you know, accuse uh, Kamala of being a witch. And this yeah. is the type of, of rhetoric that has continued and continued, whether it's people saying Trump is mm -hmm. on some dark, occult, demonic things, or, you know, on the, on the opposite end, it's Kamala, Kamala. Yeah, Kamala. Uh, of, the, of the same thing. And I want to play this video because I want to get your thoughts on this video really quickly. Lana, can you roll that? Our very first cover by God was 2020. It was election year. And I released the word of the Lord from that stage. And I said, the Lord told me to warn you, don't vote blue no matter who. And don't vote red just because they said. But that you will need the gift of discerning of spirits and the ability to judge according to righteous judgment and not according to appearance, according to John 7, 24. The lady is a witch. You vote her in, we're ushered into quicker judgment. Take that up with God. My heart is grieved. Uh, because they gave Donald Trump a pass and did not hold Donald Trump to the same standard that they accused Vice President Harris of. So none of these church leaders think Donald Trump is a witch. When he, Jeffrey Epstein said he was Donald Trump's best friend for 10 years, that they had sex with women on his plane. None of them think Donald Trump is immoral or corrupt, even though he has settled three rape charges. Nobody thinks that he's satanic when he said uh, on Inside Hollywood that you can just grab a woman by a pussy. Right. All of that is excused. Turn the Bible upside down, called it two Corinthians. Uh, no, no, nobody is holding him up to that same value and to, to desecrate uh, a sister because she has a different legislative opinion to call her a witch unchecked uh, is just uh, grievous for me. So just in, in general, do, do you feel, because I, I think this is just a whole different take and, and approach on it. Um, I've been hearing more and more about this conversation is that even something that we should be concerned about, like potential witchcraft or, you know, yeah, occult practice in, 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 in politics? Is that something that we should be concerned about? I think a various a difference in opinion uh, to vilify as demonic is very dangerous territory. Uh, because we, we get ready to go back to the communist hearings uh, of the 50s. Um, you know, the reality is, and on record, Kamala Harris went to church more times than President Trump did. Nobody brings that up. All the preachers had to go to him. You can't even remember the last four weeks, last six weeks. What church did he go to? What news story showed that? So the witch was going to church <laughs> and the savior was at the rally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 go with it. We always see this Messiah being prayed for, but we've never heard him pray. We've never seen him lift his hands in worship. Um, so I, I just think is is dangerous territory. So is it um, poor to advocate for abortion? Okay, I, I'm gonna stand with you, but to say that women having a choice over their bodies is witchcraft. I'm, I'm not sure I can go that far. Mm. You know, what, what I would say now is, is again, it's a lot of people who, because of, of how they see Trump and how this election panned out, they just in a place of absolute fear. You know, they're in a place of worry, they're in a place of concern and uh, anxiety you know, and, and to dwell in that is is really hell on earth. That's when a, when you really in those thoughts, and you there locked in that. So, what do you say to people who have now? I'm talking about crying. I got people crying on my run, timeline. Run, run that video. You got that one, Lano? Do, do we have that one? You got the sound, Rallo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You got the sound. Bro, go, go ahead and run I it. I think, because I think he took that one off, right? Is this still it? No, we took it off. We okay. took that one off. Okay. But see, the thing about it is, it's people crying on my timeline right now. When you consider that, are the, 
is it safe to say that if you took it that far, have you went ahead and made politics an idol or is that a fear response to taking a loss politically? Yeah, it's not an idol if it's an idea. The reality is of politics is going to impact us. It is that uh, this president-elect is threatening the largest deportation of immigrants in America's history. Uh, what is that going to mean for separated families? What is it going to mean for people who are going to have to hide? Uh, There's a whole lot that is uh, at stake. And I'm not sure if he uh, deports all of the immigrants who is going to clean up Mar-a-Lago. Uh, and so I, I think that we got to do some real conversations on the impact. And is that Christ-like? Mm. Uh, when the Bible uh, repeatedly says, love the strangers. Take care of those who are uh, strangers in your land. We got biblical model for that. And so this is a lot at stake. And uh, if you sold your soul for a stimulus tech, check, then uh, you go on live on eBay. <laughs> what should they be doing though? You know what I mean? Like at this Think point- Strategizing, this is where it is that we are. Uh, Mike Tyson said, everybody is brave until they get punched in the face. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been a punch in the face for our community, uh, but we can't just roll over and play dead for four years. Uh, we got to figure out how it is that uh, we're going to apply pressure uh, and make sure that uh, the interests of our community is maintained. Uh, what is going to happen if they um, give police immunity? What's going to happen if they put in place that stop and frisk is legal? that you don't even have to have a cause, uh, we're going to see a, a shakeup as we have never seen before.